getting the job, Justin. What does it mean for, for your family? It means everything for us as a, as a family because um, you know, we get to come home, uh, we get to be surrounded by family and friends, uh, we get to work at a football club that we know and, and we love. So um, there's so many benefits. Called my wife because she was out at the time um, and she was just so proud because um, she's been such a good supporter of mine and um, takes two to tango being a coach, you need a really supportive wife and she's been really supportive of everything that I've, I've done. Um, so she was just really proud um, of me and because she knows how hard I've worked for it. Um, yeah, and when I told the kids, they, they were the same. They're just really proud of their dad um, and you know, I'm just proud of the sacrifices and that they've made and I'm, I'm proud that they've been, um, they've been open-minded to give things a go. Yep. Does it, I guess, vindicate it for you when they, you know, they're proud, they're, they're happy that you, you come back to Perth? Does it vindicate it for you that it's the, the right move to make? Oh, yeah, it's definitely the right move to make. Um, this is a club I'm, I'm really excited to be the leader of. Uh, it's a club I've got a history with. Um, and it's a club that in some way I feel I owe. So um, I just want to make this, this club a great club and um, yeah, that, that starts now. Yep. What's the, um, tell us about your family. What's life like away from footy for you guys? Um, yeah, well, we're pretty private. We're a pretty private family. So that, that might change a little bit. Um, we, we just enjoy um, the downtime together because you need to get your priorities right. Um, when you're coaching um, and those priorities have always been work and family for me so um, when we've fitted in time for friends we've, we've done that but um, it's largely been around spending time together as a family when we've had that time. I just have a real, I have a real drive to help players um, be the best they can be um, and my wife um, knows I'm an ambitious person um, so she, um, yeah, she was fully aware of the role she had to play and it's obviously something we spoke about a lot um, yeah, so yeah, I couldn't have asked for someone better. Yep. You mentioned um, Phil Walsh and Neil Danaher in your press conference. How about mentors or, or colleagues that have, I guess, taught you about that balancing family and footy? Is there anyone that, that stands out there or any advice that they've given you along the way? Um, well, it's something that Adam Simpson was big on with our coaching group at, um, at West Coast with the Fathering Project, um, just to make sure, yeah, teaching us little things about being a busy dad. So one of those was obviously being present and spending time individually with your kids and, and that type of thing. So those are the lessons you pick up along the way. And the other thing is trial and error, I suppose. There's been a lot of that, trying to find those little moments to educate ourselves on how to be a good parent, um, how to be a good dad in particular, obviously. And um, yeah, those sorts of things are really beneficial. We see um, good footy clubs now, Richmond, seem to do it really well and you mentioned West Coast. They bring their families along for the ride. Is that something that you're, you're pretty keen to do at Fremantle? Yeah, I, I think it's something. Um, I, want to, I want to be a people first football club. Um, with that is involving you know, the, the closest people to all those people and that's their family. So um, people, people uh, our, our players and our staff will commit more to this football club if they feel like they're a part of this football club and they feel like their family is a part of this football club. So that's something I'll be aiming to do. Um, growing up and falling in, in love with the game, um, what was that time in your life like? I suppose as a kid, I always wanted to go back on the family farm and be a farmer, um, help my dad on the family farm. I idolised my dad as a kid. Um, and I suppose in my 17th year, um, West Perth asked me to come down and, and play Colts footy with them. Um, at that time, um, I had a good season, got picked in the state 18s. So at the start of the, my 17th year, I wanted to go back on the family farm. By the end of the 17th year, I got drafted, picked number two to Fremantle. Um, I became a footballer at this club because I was good at football, not because it was my burning desire to be a footballer. So that's evolved over time. Um, the, the passion I've found in coaching has come through um, helping young athletes achieve the best they can be. And that's what drives me as a coach to help to, to help them achieve um, their goals and what they set out in life. So, um, yeah, that's that's why I coach and that's why I get great enjoyment out of doing it. What have you found more satisfying, the playing or coaching? Um, 
I've, I've actually, to be honest, I, I've enjoyed coaching a lot more than I did as a player, and I think that comes down to a little bit of my injuries. Towards the end of my um, my football career, I was um, emotionally um, gone, I suppose, because um, I was in rehab all the time. I was dealing with injuries all the time. I, I was, um, I, I'd had enough of football, and I'd checked out emotionally. Um, but I think coaching reinvigorated that love for football because I've got such a focus on helping others. And I think um, when you get satisfaction out of helping others achieve their dreams, it's just, um, it, gives you, it gives you a tingle inside um, and it makes, you, makes me feel really proud. Yeah, nice. Um, your values as a person um, and family, where's, where's that come from, do you think? Uh, well, I think it, they've evolved over time. Um, you know, I, I get, I still have um, a lot of my values from growing up on the farm. So I'm, I'm, I'm an independent person. Um, I'm, a, I'm a problem solver. I, I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I've got a strong work ethic from watching my dad on the farm leave before the sun got up and get home after the sun went down. Um, yeah, so I think I've evolved my, my values as, as I've gone along. Um, a lot of them still come from my childhood. Um, but you know, the one thing I've learnt in football um, is that we need to be a united group and we need to do it together and we need to really enjoy the journey um, along the way. So, um, yeah, hopefully we can do that at, at, at the Dockers. Yep. What's life like at the family farm these days? Oh, well, mum and dad have just sold. So um, we went back there last Christmas um, and said goodbye, um, which was an emotional time because uh, my memories as, uh, as, a, as a kid are all tied to the farm and driving tractors and utes and doing farm, farm things. So I've got a strong tie back to the country. I've got a lot of my mates live in the bush still. Um, so yeah, and, and as a kid, like football was always big in our family because football uh, is a glue in the community. So our one, our one trip out or off the farm for the week was to go watch, to go play junior, junior footy and then watch dad play in the seniors. So that was our, that was our one um, outing of the week, I suppose. So football's a glue in, the, in small communities and what, it's what brings people together. If I was to sum up your, your values as a person in a few words, what would they be? I think um, one word that really drives my character is I feel like I'm a humble person um, and that drives my thirst to learn. Um, I never think that I know everything. Um, I'm always open to new ideas and, and how to get better. And that's how I want this football club to operate. I want us to be, be us and be all of us, but I want us to be the best football club in the world. Like, that's, that's my expectation. I, we're not going to achieve that, I know that, but. Um, I want us to be a great football club for a long period of time and that doesn't come if you haven't got an open, open mind and you haven't got a thirst to get better. So um, I also, also think I'm a really loyal person um, and that's why I always had a burning desire to come back here and coach. Yep. If I could ask you one footy question, how important is skill acquisition going to be for, for this group? Yeah, well, I believe in developing players holistically. So. I want us to improve our mental strength. I want us to improve our physical traits and I want us to improve our skill. I'll, I'll provide a structure around a uh, style of play, which is a structure around the way they play, which um, will make them, will, which will allow them to make decisions and skill execution will be pivotal to the way we want to play. Um, so the two clubs that I've worked at as a coach have had a really strong um, skill focus and we'll tip a lot of time into developing our skill.